Hi guys, one thing we get asked quite a lot is how do I repair a damaged strip? Um, damaged strip could be done in a variety of ways, you could have accidentally trodden on it, it could be a manufacturing issue, it could be, it could be a large number of things. So I've put this one together just to show you what a damaged strip could look like. I'm just going to cycle through the colours, basic troubleshooting, I would turn off all the colours and then just cycle through them one by one. So you can see the red lights up all the way around, the green stops just there. So there's an issue with the green, so we'll come back to that, we'll see if there's any more issues. So you can turn the green off and then blue goes all the way around and so does white. So the green's our issue. Uh, could be a number of things it could be all oh, there we go so what we've got here it looks like a dry joint just there see where the solder's not quite matched up so once the joint is made the strip comes back on in green so the best solution here is to solder it in place so i'll just shift that out of the way Just gonna straighten this out. Now for this I'm just using my normal soldering iron. Just gonna wait for that to heat up. But all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna touch the soldering iron onto that green uh, contact pad just there and just touch it with a little bit of solder just so that it bridges the connection and brings the LEDs on. Now obviously I'm not going to do this with the LEDs live so I am going to turn them off. Safety first. And you want a nice clean tip on your soldering iron. And just touch your soldering iron and bring it over the joint. And then with the whole plug back in, the green works. So I'm just going to cycle through again, just in case I caught one of the other joints. So we've got the red. Red's all working. Greens are working, blues are working, and the white. And just to make sure we've got no other dry solder joints, I'm just going to run it through my hands. Just putting a little bit of a curve on it. Just checking the other joints. And that's okay. That is one way that you can repair a damaged strip when you have a dry solder joint.